Well, here I am at Songs for Pleasure. There's a queue outside already. There's a whole buzz of excitement. There's a lot of people dressed in very colourful clothes. Well, here we are, we're in and we're off. So Wendy and Alison are there just waiting. They think they're going to follow me around, but I really just don't mind where I go as long as I see what's going on. So anyway, off we go. Well, I've made a beeline for the oh, threads already. Lovely. And this <laughs> lovely store is called JP like Crafts. And they've got just the most lovely display. Nice. Of course, I've homed in on the pearl cottons. And that's just such a, a luscious display. So far, this is what I've got. Some nice... I have lots and lots of stranded cotton. I don't have so many pearl ones. I thought these would be a good addition to my box of colours. So I've broken the duck and been the first to get my money out. The good thing about coming early enough on the first day is that there's actually plenty space. And you can get up to and close to have a look at everything. There's a lovely quilting cottons here. This is the place where I got the pattern for the dragon two years ago. I actually altered it a little bit, but when you see the dragon hanging in my craft room on a wire, this is where I got it from. They have some lovely little things here, look. I think I love the colours of their felt. They're just these lovely muted colours and the felt's lovely. <laughs> I've just seen another lady in this lovely patchwork dress and she tells me she's uh, it's Sarah. It is Sarah, yes. And you and you also have a, a channel or a I do. Instagram? I'm on Instagram as the Vintage Sewer. Vintage Sewer. Um, so I reproduce and content create um, vintage inspired 1940s clothes. That sounds just like the channel I, sh I should be looking at. Yep. So, um, and I now have an Etsy shop which reproduces... Oh my um Vintage patterns from the 1940s. I'm just going to pan down your lovely dress. I think you look the whole real deal, Sarah. Oh, thank you so I'm much. I'm I saw you there. Thank you. Thank you, bye. Oh, thanks. All the displays are just so inspiring. They're so colourful. This is all fat quarter bundles. Looking gorgeous. We have cushion panels. This is a place called Stitch and Stuff, and I seem to have lots and lots of cross stitch patterns. Some really modern designs, just as well as some traditional ones. I like the caravans there. Hello, this is Sherry, who's the uh, owner of Stitch and Stuff. Are you looking forward to having a nice weekend, Sherry? Oh, we're looking forward to a really up? busy weekend. We're all stocked, we're stocked up and ready up to and go. Ready and yeah. ready to go. Yeah. What's going to be your best seller, do you think? Oh, I think maybe all the the new um, heritage kits there. They're I just was beautiful. really yeah. impressed with the, the sort of new designs and more modern things. There are lots, lots of really modern stuff, like yes. Yeah, really different. So. I like this. Cats are like biscuits. Yes. Look at that everyone, that's a good one. We all like our cats. This is Minions of Craft and they have all sorts of crafty supplies and thread cutters and all sorts of interesting things from Prim. But what I've homed in on are these lovely kits and they're just sweet. They are crochet kits for cacti and the ladies told me they come in from the Netherlands. They look really nice. Crochet cacti, complete kit. Crocheted apples and pears and a pineapple. I've just seen Emma, whose store this is. So, hi Emma, I really think your ladies are so cute and lovely. Thank you. What gave you the idea? Um, basically, I was just playing out with fabric. I yeah. got the idea of creating um, panels, which yeah. came out of kind of nowhere. Yeah. Just the enjoyment of sewing. Um, so have you always sewed? I'm a designer by trade. I used to design fabric, so it's kind of come full circle. Oh, that's really interesting. Um, but the ladies were really to just showcase my fabric, and I did 
didn't even anticipate people liking them and it kind of snowballed. Last year at Festival of Quilts I brought them out as patterns and like from there, yes they've gone really well. So the, the pattern's very simple, you get eight page instruction booklet with it, um, your template to scale and your bond web and then the idea is you use your scraps. Use your scrap fabrics. Yeah, yeah. Well I'm, I'm all about using scrap fabrics and I saw mainly with thrifted fabrics and so I think they're absolutely amazing. Well, I think so Fun yeah, to use yeah. up. They're a great stash buster. Really they're a really good. good stash buster. I'll, um, yeah, thank you very much. I hope you have a good show. Oh, thank you very much. We've just found this absolutely amazing stall, and there's Katie over there in the corner. There's Katie Finley, and Katie is doing the same as me as birds, but instead of the Thahan, she machine embroiders, and they're absolutely exquisite. They're so beautiful. Hello Katie, your stall's gorgeous. Uh, how long have you been doing machine embroidered birds and pears? Oh, long time, um, 10, 15 years, yeah. All right, they're absolutely gorgeous. I bet the birds are really popular, are they? Yes, yeah. The goldfinches are lovely. I hope you have a really lovely time. Just having a walk down, just having a look at all the lovely colour. Quilts. There's oh here's Sarah from a sewing sanctuary. I got her last year at the, at the knitting and stitching show. It's always nice to say hello. Looks like she's got some new fabrics on. Oh, that's really beautiful. That's gorgeous. It's so soft. Lots of beautiful things. Oh, I think that's one of the fabrics that I got last year. I definitely have to make it up now. Of course, I couldn't come past Sarah's stall without buying something. And this is lovely, Sarah. It's just gorgeous. So tell me something about this, that. one of your new patterns. This is uh, the um, Visco. The Visco. Viscous. And um, what did it say? Hydrangea. Shamrock and Hydrangea. Shamrock so and Hydrangea. So this one, I inspire my garden. Cottage. Last year, full of Hydrangea, Shamrock, which is, I love those flowers. And then I thought I'm gonna put in a, into the fabric. Yeah. So I have a four different colorways. Oh, where are the other colorways? So yeah, this this two colorways. One of the turquoise ones sold out. Oh, that yellow. Yeah, lovely. the mustard is lovely, and then this grey. Oh my goodness! Yeah, higher. I like that. Yes. Oh, and then for this it. one, because of I made the top, and they are absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful, Sarah. Yeah. That so, looks so summery and pretty. Summery and it's simple. Once you cut out, you can make it within one hour. One hour, one that's hour. good. One hour. I like it. <laughs> so okay. if you want to different, uh, you know, edgings, yeah. you can do that. If you're making longer, you can make a same Make a tunic for the inches. bottom. Yeah. So How much fabric beautiful. So this one, size 10, one to five, one and a quarter. Oh, so one and a half would be. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm definitely going to have it. I just have to decide which colourway. I do like that one, but this grey is gorgeous. Uh, mustards. Oh my goodness, I don't think. Do you know what? I'm going to get a bit of tea. I'm going to put them both together. Yeah. Why, Why not? not? Okay, Why not? that's for me. So yeah. I am going to have, let me have a metre and a half white of one. the white one yeah. and the grey one. Okay, perfect. That's lovely. Thank you, Sarah, Thank you. so much. You know I always come to seek you out because I love your fabrics, your designs. I know, thank you very much. Thank you for your support. That's all right. And then love Brilliant. to see you as always. Um, I've just found this lovely store. It's called Material Magic. I've been speaking to Anna here, who has sorted me out some absolutely gorgeous uh, fabric. I'm going to be getting some jersey to make uh, some plain tops because I never have enough plain tops. So I've got this lovely green, a lovely grey, and it has lovely linen, Italian linen. And I'm going to get some of that to make a dress. But it's just challenged me. Anna, what are you, you challenging me to? This is a challenge. I've never heard of a right. scissor challenge. I think mine are the best scissors in the world. I oh, really? Three years developing them. Yes. Same tips. Yeah. You never need sharpening. If you only cut fabric, you'll never buy no presses. 
Now you've just seen me cut fabric with mine and mine are five years old. Okay. These are the scissors. Yeah. I want you to have a cut with them and tell me what you think. Okay. Go on. Right, so does somebody oh, need you, you to... Buy, this will be the scissors you'll buy. Go on, yeah. I want you to play. Oh, Hello, this is Wendy, no, Marion's Wendy, sister. Like... Marion's doing this. This is a challenge. Are you ready? Have you got me in the, in the frame? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, go on. I think I'm supposed to be just doing these scissors. So let's have a look. We've got, oh, I don't know how many layers of fabric here. Just cut through as many layers as you like. Thank no. you. <laughs> that, that's not real. How many layers have you just cut through? I don't know, about like 20,000. <laughs> now, just cut the very tip. Use the very tip. Smaller. Smaller. Smaller? Yeah. Mine are the only ones that do that. No, 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 no. no. They are amazing. <laughs> I think we're going to be buying them, aren't we? How much are those? I think we might be. We sell these no half 30. price, Marion. We're doing a show special at fifteen pound a pair. Fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. I saw Marion never. Do so they work left-handed? Try it. I'm I did it left-handed. <laughs> oh well, I think I'm being very windy. Yeah. They are definitely coming home with me. Yeah, they coming are. home with me too. I told you, didn't and me. And you, Alison. Alison's getting them as I'll well. Do the, I'll do the Pepsi challenge with any Pepsi. That is a good discovery I've made. Thank here, you. Though. You're a star. I've got my name on it anyway. Make it Joe Material Magic. Make it Joe? Why is it Make it Joe? Because Make it Joe was, uh, Joe was um, in conjunction with us on the TV. He's, he's a Pepsi, not very well. He's off the TV. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know what that was. Yeah. Well, I'm having a Pepsi. Of course you are. Thank you. <laughs> Have you two bought your fabrics yet? Not yet, it's just still. All oh, right, OK. Here. Thank so you, that, Emma, that, that's Anna. A detail of us. Thank you, and thank you very much. We're just about to go and find somewhere to have a little sit down. There's so much to see. I don't think we've even seen a quarter of it yet. But um, we're going to have a sit down and a drink so that we can come back with. Then we'll come back with renewed energy. Oh. oh my goodness, the colours on here are amazing. They're great, aren't they? Wonderful. We're in the area where people have uh, paid to come and have little tutorials. So they're doing, uh, finding out how to uh, quilt or sew on the Juki machines there. Uh, of course, we've got all the manufacturers here. It's a beautiful machine. So when you want to find a new thing, or the state, the state of the art, anything. These are the places to come. Some hand sewing going on here. More machine sewing classes. No, oh, this one's called painting with threads. Beautiful. So this is Hilary Beatty and she has an exhibition called Tuna's Mania and she's actually doing a demonstration of the way she prints at the moment. Some sort of a substance. I kind of like things settled on somewhere. I, I, I feel it. I think our exhibition's been really It just beautiful. seems better to me. It says it was inspired by a collage design made using jelly prints and masses of tulips in pots and flowers. I'll take you in for a zoom in. It's really lovely. It's another tulip inspired machine embroidered. Oh, this one's lovely. More muted colours here. Called favourite things. This quilt's called vintage flora. Absolutely beautiful. The colours are so pretty. I'm going. It's been done with such precision. Still machine embroidery. Look at that. The reflections of the water in the jam jar. It's just beautiful. That's glorious. That says 1930s green jug with tulips. I'm Hillary's mum. Oh, 
gorgeous. Just sitting here quietly with my sister and Alison and Jess here, who we were complimenting on her beautiful handmade pinafore, said, What, Jess? I said, Oh, I recognise you. I watch you on YouTube. So, this is my first ever getting recognised outside of my where I live. Jess, you've made my day. Thank you very much. Oh, your stuff you is fabulous. Are you really enjoying the show? Oh, I love it. Every, every year we come. This is the third year we've been. Yeah. So where are you from then? Where have you Manchester. Come? Oh, so you're not so far away. So I'm in Manchester. Alan and I used to come when our children were little. Okay. And then we didn't see each other for a while. And now we're sewing buddies. Okay. And now, but all our children have left home. So yes. sewing is our focus. Yeah. Michelle's a textile artist. I do a lot of um, dressmaking. Yes. But I've also started doing a lot of embroidery, which I am loving. I love embroidery. So, watching your channel oh, man, you, has been I just can't brilliant. I just don't know what I, I just don't know what to say I'm just like yeah you know, I'm gonna have a smile on my face all the way home Excellent. thank you so much Jess. what do you what have you come to buy sorry what have you come to buy today um oh nothing specific but I'll go home with the bag for yeah I've already got some you lovely know? linen oh, thank you so much you've made my keep day. up the good work thank you <laughs> This is an exhibition of the School of Fashion Design and they had to be doing something inspired by Vivian Westwood. So it's a student designs. They look really good. Look at that beautiful design. So clever. So it's lovely to get showcased here, I think. I bet they're so proud to see their designs here. Oh, that's a beauty. That's gorgeous. I'd make that now. Look at the blue and the tartan. That's really lovely. I can't see your name. Or else I would have given them a shout out. Gorgeous. Oh, there's a beauty. She's also machine quilting. Oh, the birds are amazing. <laughs> well, I've just found Laura here and she's the maker of the, this beautiful panel that I was just showing you. And you've got lovely printed birds, Laura. And yes. these, what do you actually do? So this particular quilt was a piece of work that my mum and I worked together on. Yes. So she made the paintings of the individual garden birds. Oh, and so your mum your mum's My mum did the paintings, yeah. yeah. So they're acrylic paintings. Um, on fabric? No, so they were originally done on canvas and panels. Okay. And then we photographed those original paintings. Yeah. And combined them with a photograph of a tree. Yes. And merged them all together. So you made the whole printed fabric yourself? Yes. And so it's a whole cloth, so there's no applique or anything. It's just a single piece of fabric printed and then loads and loads of machine quilting. It's and lots really of gorgeous. Thank I bet you, you get much. a lot of comments on it. It's really popular because people just love the birds. And it's, the, so character it's the lovely, sort of mustardy yellow colour. It yeah, just shows everything colour. off, doesn't it? The gold colour is really nice because I think perhaps you'd normally just do like a blue You've background a green sky or something. something. But when Linda does her painting, she uses a lot of gold backgrounds when she does painting, so it makes sense to put the quilt with the gold background as well. Okay, so are you selling stuff as well as just so showing I've your got, work? Yeah, so I've got some of my printed and dyed fabrics, yeah. and then I've got an exhibit of my work on on the other side as well. So. On the other side of this yes. bit? Oh, I'll Behind go around right, right and give it a bit of a film. Thank you so much. Thanks I hope you much. have a good Thank exhibition. Thank you. In very intricate work. And so much. So much to see. Whether you like glittery and gold or muted colours, natural, bright, you name it, you can find it. I just so much. It's almost too much to take in. 
just found this lovely um, lady who makes her own patterns. It's called My Handmade Wardrobe. The lady's name is Sarah. And I've just been really impressed with the way her patterns are made. And I'm just going to let her talk to you. Hello, Sarah. Um, I really think your patterns look so lovely. Oh, thank you. And you said to me you've been going for about 10 years. Yes, so I was a fashion designer in the industry beforehand, yep. working for various high street brands. And um, I started teaching workshops. And um, it was basically, I missed my sewing people. Okay. I, I was working um, in a job which was very computer heavy, and I missed like So you were still designing on. clothes? Yeah. But you were all on the computer instead Absolutely. of sewing, doing as much sewing. And I just missed that hands-on like yeah. connection with the fabric and the people who. I think once you're somebody who it. likes working with fabric, yes. you like working with fabric, yeah, don't you? Yeah, and actually only really being surrounded by like finished bought clothes that we were then doing versions of and things like that. It just wasn't. I just didn't do it for it you. Didn't play my boat. So I, I started totally making. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. I'm now finding that I'm starting to take people on that kind of journey with so me as well. So there are people who are starting in their clothes making. Absolutely, and in pattern making as well. And pattern making and learning to alter their patterns so that they can make things, clothes that actually reflect themselves. Do you themselves. do courses and things? I do, yes. I so think I might be interested. Well, I do I just make so. mine up. I quite like to learn how to tailor things a bit more. Yes, yeah. And that is something I think... Learning how to take something that you love, style yeah. that you love, and make it really fit you mm -hmm. is just like hugely empowering. It's, it's really, really satisfying, isn't yeah, it? It really, really is. Well, I hope you have a lovely show oh, and I hope you get so. lots of lovely people buying your patterns. Wonderful, and thank Thanks. you so much for coming. And it's not just fabric, the beautiful yarns as well. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful colours. Oh, I just want all of it. I take one of everything. It's so beautiful. Just found these. This is so unusual. This lady's called Polly and she wire wraps things with wire. And it's, it's really unusual. I don't think I've seen anything quite like it. All the hair bands and Necklaces, and little wreaths for your head. Anyway, she's just dealing with a customer and I asked her whether she would speak on camera, so... Which is fine, Hello, Holly. Hello. Thank you for saying you don't mind being firm. No, not at all. Um, I've never seen anything quite like what you're doing. You said you'd been doing that since you were a child. I've been doing it since I was 14. Yeah. So that is uh, 35 years now. Oh, you shouldn't be giving away your age. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and it's wire weaving, and I just love, I just love wire weaving and making all of the things. So at the moment, I'm weaving this ball. Yeah. So that will be like a little net that that they would traditionally have, except for this one is made out of wire. Okay. It looks like it takes some concentration. It does take some concentration. You have to make sure that it's even all the way around, and uh, it's quite complicated at the beginning. Once you get it to work, then it's fine. Yeah. But yes, so the last one of these that I made sold within 40 minutes. Oh my goodness. Yes. People obviously like it. Well, I think they it's did. lovely. I just, I just don't think I've ever seen anything like it before. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for thank talking you. to me on camera. And I hope you have a good rest of the show. You too. Thank you so much, Holly. Take care. Fabric's 100% cotton satin, yeah. it's, it's colourful, so once you've sewn it in, you can sew it with your yeah. fabric, absolutely fine to sew in and to wash, and a nice cool wash, it's very good quality cotton, yeah. got a nice tight weave to it. Um, I create all of the, uh, the original illustrations, I do most of them. All of the ones that we've done by hand, using multicolour, penning, um, pastel pencils. Um, Vicky, I think these are lovely. Yeah, what a you. lovely idea thank to have you. the little panels for everybody. Yeah. And, and do you know what, I think it's just, it's a really inexpensive way of making special yeah. gifts for people. Your illustrations um, are so pretty. And I mean, like just to have things like snails. And that's the other thing, you know, I get so many people who 
they come to shows like this they oh my goodness I've been looking for for example a snail I can't find snail fabric anywhere but you've you know and whether it's for a husband a wife or just a friend who's really into things I think and and very much like like yourself yeah blend it with your scraps get your scraps out of your box and just put a lovely little piece it. of, it's just the fact of having these lovely little pieces it's so just, beautiful let me just show you let okay oh Oh, which is back across the other, the other side. So oh, all beautiful. of these are from the scrapbox. And then Just one of your lovely panels. That's two it. pounds for That's the square it. in the middle. And all they of these are, are out gorgeous. of the scrapbox. I do the poppy as well. Well, that's, I'm all you know. about using up your scraps, using up Absolutely. your thrifted fabrics. Your little panels are lovely. I haven't seen anybody else do anything like that. Well, I hope you have a really good show, Vicky, Thank and nice much. to talk it's, to yeah, you. Yeah, and I'll check out your YouTube channel oh, when I get back tonight. Oh, you're a star, you're a star. Uh, thank you very much, yes, and I uh, hope you have a good rest of the weekend. Yeah. The fabric everywhere. My head's dizzy with it. It doesn't matter where you look, there are beauties to be had. <laughs> I do like that. Wendy's just found this gorgeous material yeah, here. <laughs> we really like it. It's what is it? Linen viscose? No, uh, no it's linen viscose. Yeah. Linen viscose. £13 a week. Ah, and there's a lady here who looks like she's going to buy it. Yeah. Are you going to buy some of that? Yeah. You like it? I love it. <laughs> are, are you here just today for the show? Yeah, just or? today. Just today and just spending. Just spending. I know, me <laughs> too. I've, sorry, I've been spending too. It's hard not to when you see all the gorgeous fabric. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on You're camera. Well. This is an exhibition of quilts and it's from the Modern Quilt Group. And it's actually called Broken Lines. And there's some really beautiful quilts here. Oh, there's a one I must not talk in class. Leslie Bell, This one's called Bright Interludes. Go and have a look and see what the others are like. Oh, they're really lovely. They must have all had to do the same size. Look at that one. Broken Square. Paula Rafferty, that one. I think they're really interesting. Chris Cox. Oh, that's lovely. This one is called I Am a Romantic. Even raindrops are pretty. What a lovely title for a quilt. That's Michaela Knight. For me, who's always drawn to florals and vintagey stuff, this is totally out of my comfort zone of doing. So I really admire them and I think they're really amazing. It's so lovely to see people doing different things than you do yourself. They can inspire you to do, to be more creative in your own work. gives you ideas for how you go forward so you don't get stuck to the thing anyway this is beautiful the blue and black together it's called secret code by margaret strickland it said inspiration came while teaching Cub Scouts the most code and she thought it would be interesting to try and make a quilt with a secret coded message. And so the message reads, in my dream world, fabric is free and sewing makes you thin. <laughs> I think that's a good one to uh, look at. So I think that's really lovely. It's emptying out a bit. Half past three. 
I think there's only diehards like us that are still here. Still looking at fabric, still ooing and ahhing at it all. Here we are at Higgs and Higgs. This is where I got my linen fabric last year for the coat, which I am on with, but I just haven't finished it yet. What have you found, Wendy? What have you found? Um, I found the red crushed velvet for possibly a tablecloth edge. Oh, you'll have to show me. Back along here. You got any double gauze there, Alison? Yeah, it's all I'm, of this, I'm, is I'm it? I'm eyeing, eyeing it all. You're, you're eyeing it all. We've ended up at this lovely store called Lily Fabrics. And Alison's just bought a metre and a half of lovely double gauze. She's got this one here. It's really pretty. This is Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Hello. I really like your work. All the combination of the images and the machine embroidery and everything. So have you done this for years? I've been doing it about 45 years now. 45 years? I trained in art and textiles. Oh, I love working goodness. with texture. So I layer fabrics, I stitch fabrics, hand embroidery, machine embroidery. I take so the beautiful. fabric to put the colour on. So a whole combination. Of I do too. I like painting the fabric and then embroidering yeah. and a collage and everything. Yeah. This is the Yorkshire Dales, so it's an area called Wharfdale. Do you live in so, Yorkshire? No, I don't. No, I holiday up there. So uh, that the is areas absolutely I gorgeous. In. I very, so, very inspired a, by that. That's a tree that I sketched when I was up in Yorkshire, in this area. Yeah. So the tree is relevant to that particular location. And then I live in Brighton or near Brighton. Um, and so that's a, a map of Brighton. These are kits, so I sell kits where people have the fabrics. So in the kit, you'll have the fabrics and instructions to create your own design. Yeah. Lovely. So you start by piecing and layering different fabrics, mm -hmm. stitch them down, paint them with fabric paints, oh. and then embroider on top. You're a lady so after that's... my own heart. That's the sort of thing <laughs> I do, but with hand embroidery. Well, it's half past four. We're about to leave. You can see that it's getting a bit sparse now. Wendy and Alison, uh, their feet are aching and we've just decided we have to give up and go. But we're laden down with all our purchases. Well, I hope you enjoyed that trip to the show. Wendy and Alison and I, we really enjoyed it. And we were there just about a full eight hours. We just didn't want to go. It was only our hurting feet that made us uh, decide that we had to go back to the car. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I got. I actually bought more than I thought I would. But once you get into the flow and all those beautiful fabrics, you just can't help yourself. Anyway, this, the first four, actually the first five, were all from the same gentleman. And that was Material Magic, the gentleman with the scissors challenge, which totally <laughs> was very unexpected. And I was genuinely surprised. And I genuinely bought some. There. So, material magic. He had some beautiful, beautiful fabric. And I was actually just after plain fabric. That's all I wanted when I went to the show was plain fabric because I need to make myself t-shirts or long sleeve sweaters that go underneath my pinafore dresses. So that was what I was looking for. And uh, Anna Material Magic came up trumps. I got this lovely uh, grey jersey. And his fabric was, most of his fabric was just £10 a metre, which I thought was really, really good. So £10 a metre for the grey, and also I got this lovely mussy green. I asked him whether he had some soft linen, because I want to make a couple of floaty pinafores, not ones with waists in, but ones that just sort of float outwards for the summer. And he came up once again with this Italian linen, and it's not something I've find in big quantities in the charity shops so anyway I found these two beautiful colours I saw this one first which is like a heathery grey mauve and it's very soft it's a different different feel from the linen of my coat and also the linen of that red dress so I got that heather colour first and then thought I'd get something that would go with it and I was pink green and I surprised myself by getting this lovely coral colour. So I've got equal quantities of both of them and I'm hoping that I'll just come up with either two things or one thing that combines both the colours. I think they'll work really well together. Uh, I did get the scissors 
and I'll let you know how they go, but I was super impressed with them because they did cut right and left handed. And one, the, my left handed pair of scissors that you see me trying to use, they are beautiful. They cost a lot more than these did. So I'll be testing these out over the next um, few weeks of sewing and I will let you know how they get on. But that was all from Material Magic. And then later on, just before we were leaving, I decided that I needed some double gauze because I really like sewing with that. And we looked all over and I ended up back at uh, Anil's again and I got this absolutely beautiful powder blue double gauze. I got two metres of it. It was £10 a metre. That's going to, <laughs> that's going to make me a really nice dress. Possibly a skirt. I actually don't know, but it's going to make me something lovely in summary. And I thought that powder blue was absolutely gorgeous. Sarah Sewing Sanctuary, her, her design, she paints all the designs herself and gets them printed. Her designs are so lovely and I just couldn't resist. You saw me getting it. Uh, this lovely hydrangea and she was calling it shamrock, but it's clover. A uh, little clover design and I did get it in both the charcoal background and the white and they will be combining together to make me yeah, a dress or maybe two tops to go over trousers which I don't wear very often but you know uh, when I do I'll need something nice um, or I'll combine them both together into another dress. And you saw me get the lovely pearl cottons. It's really nice. I could have I could have got lots of them, but actually I don't I didn't need many. It's just the sort of colours that I like to sew with. And I don't have as much pearl cotton as I do stranded. I haven't bought stranded cotton in absolutely years and years and years. I nearly always find it thrifted. Pearl cotton, that's different. And I got two different weights. I got I got three in um, five weight and I got two in eight so that was the thread <coughs> I got myself a pair of embroidery scissors my little stalk scissors they're really on the way out I did buy myself a new pair a few months ago and I've lost them and I haven't they must be in the house somewhere and I've had everywhere out and I just can't find them so obviously there's somewhere that I haven't looked yet in the meantime I thought these were really lovely. I can't actually remember where I got them from now, but they've got really fine points and I like the, the black rather than just the gold ones that you see all over. So I shall be trying them out and I'll be making a scissors case for them to go into um, that will fit into my Hasif too. So that video isn't done yet, obviously, but I'll be making them specially to fit those scissors. I really like this lady's store, Wendy Dolan. With, she was the lady that had the tree and the map and she machine embroidered and then hand embroidered on top. Her things in real life looked so impressive and I thought I'd take a chance on the book. It is the sort of thing I do already but almost sort of more so. I think she's using puff paints and layering texture, texture medium into the paints. So she makes textures on her embroideries and I thought that was really interesting and that isn't something I've done before. So I'm hoping that I'll get some new inspiration and some new tips from her book. So that was that one. I've got a cute little fox needle threader instead of having the old fashioned cheapy one with the wiring. I bought a flexible quilters rule because I've never had one. I usually just use a bit of cardboard or a paper. And I saw them and I thought, why have I not got one of these after all these years? And so I tracked myself to one. And also a ring cutter, which I only just recently found out about. I never knew that they existed before. And then I saw one and I, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use it, whether it's on my forefinger or my thumb. I'm presuming you have it on the hand that's not sewing. So I shall see. That was from... Oh, I can't remember. Sorry, I've thrown the package away already. 
I'm not very good at um, keeping packages to unopen. I'm just always excited. The minute we were back at the guest house, I had all of this out of its packaging and looked at it and unfolded it and everything. I just get too excited by it all. But that this looks really pretty. I did buy a pattern. Um, the Amelia dress by Stole Me Something. I thought that was really nice. It looks like a nice easy wear. And I felt as if I could put a belt on that as well. And it didn't have to be just hanging like that. But it would cinch in nicely. And I thought that there's a possibility that the lavender and uh, coral fabric might actually make that. But I'm not sure yet. So that was that. Was that. And then the last thing. I did actually buy some Tilda fabric. And so I've never done, or have, I've bought doll fabric before. Tilda solids. I thought my traditional quilting days were over, but evidently they're not. So I don't know when I'll be doing that and whether it'll be hand, hand on machine pieced. But it was lovely and I thought it was gorgeous. And that is actually not for myself. That is for someone else. And that was the only reason I bought it. I could justify it to myself by saying it was for someone else. And so that will be for someone else. And that was it. We had a lovely time. I'll make sure I've got the links where I can. Um, I did take people's cards. And next year, if you're near Birmingham or uh, think you would like to go to the sun show, you should just take a chance and go. It's really lovely. The vibe was lovely. That lady in the vintage dress, she was amazing. Um, and I hadn't heard of her her site before, but she said she was Miss Vintage UK. And I've since looked her up and she's got very um, lovely videos on Instagram about all her vintage 1940s creations. And they look really cool to be watching. So I, I really like that. And she was a really nice lady to talk to as well. Um, <laughs> and the lady that recognised me, oh my goodness. I just didn't know what to say. That was very unexpected. So I hope you don't mind that I put that little bit in the video. Because I think she was super excited to be filmed as well. So that's why I did it. And I just had to smile on my face for the rest of the day. So thank you to Jess for actually actually saying that she watched my videos. Jess, I'm so pleased. Thank you very much. And I hope you got some lovely fabric or whatever you whilst you were at the show too. Um, thanks a lot. And thanks a lot to all of you for watching and subscribing and commenting and supporting me wherever you are, whether it's commenting on Instagram, sending me a super thanks or going onto my Kofi page. I just really appreciate all of you. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time you visit Marion's World. Bye everyone.